Hey you! Do you want to be just like your favorite YouTuber before he had a list of children longer than Santa's? Well now you can! There's no need to spend hundreds of dollars on an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, because with the 4.2 update, Blender's video editor is no longer garbage! First, install Blender if you haven't already. Now you could get this from any reputable source, such as Steam, the Microsoft Store, or Blender.org, but that's for losers. We need to make sure we get our download from at least page 4 of Google. Now that you have Blender set up, click on Video Editor. Now first you're gonna want to- what's this? Ah! So this is a general video editing setup. You have your timeline sequencer at the bottom, your preview in the middle, your files to the left, and your export settings on the right. Easy enough. If you're editing videos, you're gonna be spending most of your time in the video sequencer. It's a timeline of all of your videos, images, audio, and video effects. The timeline goes from left to right and has various layers so you can stack videos and pictures on top of each other. Adding a file is as simple as dragging it from the File Explorer or File Panel. You can then click and hold to align it where you want it in the timeline. If you want to add a sequence of images, you go to Add, Image slash Sequence, select all the images, and import them. It's simple enough, but it can get complicated really fast if you're not careful, so make sure you're organized with it. Now at some point, I'm sure you're going to want to add text to your videos. All you have to do is go to Add, and Add Text. Now you've probably noticed the panel on the right. This is where you can affect your strips. Here you can change things such as what the text says, how big it is, what its color is, the font, and add shadows, outlines, and boxes. To make your text really stand out, pick a nice font and make it bold. Then, add an outline. Make that outline colored. At the start of each strip, have it pop a little bigger and then a little smaller. You can do this using keyframes. Keyframes are pretty simple. They tell Blender what something should look like at a specific time. So if you keyframe the size on frame 10, and then keyframe it again on frame 20, it will gradually change from one value to the other. This is how you can make your elements move around or change in general. To keyframe a value, just hover over it and press the I key. To move your elements by clicking and dragging them, you might notice you're not able to, but there is actually a way to do it. By clicking the little arrow in the top left of the preview, you can select the Move tool. This will allow you to click and drag, but take note it won't automatically keyframe your element, so make sure you change it. Once you have your video how you like it, you'll want to go to the top right. This is where you can change the resolution, the compression, the aspect ratio, the frame rate, and several other things. First, click Output and change the directory to wherever you want to save your video. Then. Click the icon on the right of the encoding tab, and change it to H264 in MP4. If you don't do this, it'll save as an MKV file, which isn't supported by many applications such as Discord. After this, you can hold Ctrl and press F12. This will make your video start rendering. After it's done rendering, you can go to wherever you set your video to save to, and it'll be right there. Okay, this outro is going to be like 5 seconds because everyone clicks off and it ruins video time. Ping me on Twitter with whatever you made with this, I really want to see it. Thanks, bye.